Okay, so welcome to Open Floor's moment where we are taking an opportunity to just be. This whole um, movement that we're in, the racial pandemic, there's a lot of doing, um, just a lot of what's next. Um, what we're gonna invite you into right now is to just be. So these artists are gonna take some moments and showcase what it's like for them in this time, in this season, what has come out for them. Um, the language of an artist um, gives something to our souls that I think is necessary and needed. And so that is what you are about to witness. So I invite you to just be. This is my ode to black women who've given everything to this world but in return was made to be a victim but first I'd like to apologize for not being wise about the issues that plague you when it comes to us guys for years the bible's been used for evil and misconstrued to make you believe you'd have to submit to some fool to the Angela Rise and Maya Angelou's created to help and be honored but to not be subdued for those who need the bigger picture let me quote you the words so you observe the meaning behind the scripture clearly it states Commit to one another out of reverence for Christ That's fundamentals, but most of us, we ain't getting that right How can you follow one that has no sense of leadership And when you start to hold them accountable, they plead the fifth If he don't follow Christ, please don't follow him Cause instead of worshiping God, you're gonna end up worshiping him My ode to black women This is my ode to black women this is my ode to black women who've given everything to this world But in return was made to be a victim My ode to black women this is my ode to black women. This is my ode to black women who've given everything to this world, but the return was made to be a victim. Uh, black men, here we go again. I promise I come in love, but y'all gon' make me repent. Yes, I'm talking to you, not all, but some of my brothers who's quick to raise their hand as someone that's like their mother. You would think this type of man was raising the gutter, cause he would rather beat her than provide her with cover. She don't entertain your advances, because her guard is her own and you ain't planned. You just wanna take her fruit, cause it's appealing to you So her lack of willingness is just revealing the truth That you ain't worthy But you can't be, so don't hurt me First you gotta heal and get back to your creator So you can be your best self and function at levels greater See the value in you, then see the value in her So we can get back to us and break the cycles and the curse My ode to black women This is my ode to black women this is my ode to black women who've given everything to this world but their return was made to be a victim my ode to black women This is my ode to black women This is my ode to black women who've given everything to this world but their return was made to uh, She's not pretty for being dark skin She's just pretty No, she's not an Oreo But she's sweet in the midi Just cause she speaks with etiquette Isn't a predicate That she wants to be white She's educated in heaven sin No dummy, she ain't gotta be mixed on me That's just genetics Do you believe in magic? Black girls, they're the illest I love that natural hair It's getting all this love Ladies embrace a crown It's a blessing from above Black men protect our women Continue to keep them safe Cause while we were being slaughtered They were fighting in our place You don't need to look at us And see a sense of danger they should see a haven, not a place that would taint her Promise I love my people, we just need to be treated equal Before we turn around and make this poor movie a sequel Tear up the faulty plates and make a new foundation So we don't shift on the sand, instead we shift in the nation My ode to black women This is my ode to black women This is my ode to black women Who've given everything to this world But in return was made to be a victim My ode to black women this is my ode to black women. This is my ode to black women who've given everything to this world. I do my part so I can see us winning. Go, M, C.
In 1776, a group of immigrants dreamed of writing their own destinies. But not long after they won control of their promised land, they shackled their brothers of color, dismissing their own hypocrisy offhand, and the sentiment saturated the soil of a nation far too comfortable with leading an oppression of their own creation in 1857. The Supreme Court declared open season on those enslaved, enforcing the ideal that melanin justified atrocities, that the pigment of your skin made you less of a person and more a piece of property in 1899. A poem entitled The White Man's Burden was published. They used ideals like imperialism as facades for whitewashing, paying no attention to the cultures that they might be squashing as if other nations needed to be saved from the complexion of their skin, as if being a white man was ever a burden that would inhibit your next of kin in 1955. In 1955, a 14-year-old boy allegedly flirts with a white woman in a grocery store. But that can't be tolerated in the Jim Crow South, and the boy is kidnapped three days after the whistle left his mouth. The boy is beaten and shot in the middle of the night, the murderers acquitted by a jury all white in 2020. A woman lies asleep, unknowing in her bed. And after hearing mysterious banging at the door, she is shot in the crossfire, left clinging to life on the floor, all because of a no-knock warrant related to a crime miles away, and two of the three cops responsible still wear that badge to this day in 2020. I would say I'm surprised, but I don't know if that's true because this problem was built into the founding of the red, white, and blue. People say that we've made progress, but every policy is just for show, as if racism was just a phase America was expected to outgrow. The boys in blue aim guns at their heads with knees on their neck, and mothers can only pray that their child isn't next. This needs to end now. We can't raise this next generation under this myth that your skin color is cause for speculation. And I'm done with this timidity, this need to not seem proud, this is a social justice revolution and it's going to be loud so take up whatever privilege you have and use it for the betterment of every black life if not they may lose it Because I'm black, by the committee. I'm 15 years old, I've always made the honor roll. I've never gotten in trouble at school, but yet I'm still considered a troublemaker. Why, you may ask, because I've been conditioned to. I've always been cautious about what I wear, no bandanas, no tight clothes, and always keep my hair straight. Why, you may ask, because that's what they told me I should do. I never speak too loud, I never walk around by myself, I can't be too mean. Why, you may ask, because they said I'll come off as rude. They think I always eat certain foods and can only play certain games that I'm only good at physical things because that's what they think they've seen me do. Well, it's 2020 and I'm rewriting this narrative. I am taking control. Why you may ask? Because that's what I want to do. I will speak as loud as I want. I refuse to be paranoid. I will choose whatever ways of life I see fit for me. I will wear what I am comfortable in. I will speak however loud I deem necessary. I will eat whatever foods and not feel ashamed. I will wear my hair however curly, nappy, or straight I see fit. 
Why you may ask? Not because I'm difficult or stubborn, not because I'm ratchet or ghetto, not because I'm a troublemaker, but because my ancestors have fought hard to create a world where any shade of black that I am is black enough and good enough for me to walk around proudly, gracefully, and unapologetically. Thank you. every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring ring with the harmonies of liberties let our rejoice Let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day begun. Let us march on till victory is won. Morning world greeted from my window the sun beautiful birds singing at my window they come the dew glistening it's greeting hey hi twilight's last bit of retreating goodbye the world Finally awaking, okay, moments, ready to take in. Then I see the news of the broken glass that was smashed and the fires in the town. I see the truth of the pain and the hope and the trust that's littered on the ground. I've got to believe that there's some decency in men. Yeah, I've got to believe that there's more good than there is bad, no, no. I've got to believe that every smile doesn't hide the hatred in their heart. I've got to believe a difference ends when it tear us apart, no, no. I had to go back and think about everything, everything I'd ever learned. About the truth, how not every fire consumes when it burns. That a pure passion can inspire and take us higher than where we are. That yes, we can come to the promised land, babe, it's not too far. When I look at you and you look at me, don't you know it's God we're seeing? A human without love. It's not a human being, yeah I gotta believe that there's some decency in man, yeah I've gotta believe that there's more good 
nothing there is bad, no, no I've gotta believe that every smile doesn't hide The hatred in their heart I've gotta believe a different says Won't tear us apart, no, no I've gotta believe in faith and hope If nothing else remains I've gotta believe the dream was not Dreamt in vain I've gotta believe our children's children Won't be judged by their skin, no, oh, no I've gotta believe that they will Behind these walls that the past has built There's a future that's worth fighting for Behind these walls that some can't see mm. Behind these walls that have lasted so long And it's true some are dying cause Behind these walls that shouldn't be That shouldn't be, no I've gotta believe that there's some decent seeing men I've gotta believe that there's more good than there is bad our children's children won't be judged by their skin, no, no. I've got to believe our differences won't tear us apart. I've got to believe in faith and hope if nothing else remains. I've got to believe the dream was not dreamt in vain. I've got to believe that children's children won't be judged by their skin, no, no I've gotta believe that love will